Hey everyone, jumping on once again, making another video. I know I made a video recently talking about my update, reconfirming that I'm still around. And even though I'm not necessarily finishing my doctoral degree right now, that hopefully in the horizon, maybe even the near horizon, that will happen. And this is similar to other experiences in my life where, you know, I take a pause or take a break and then make my way back to what's most important to me and learning is really important in my life. It's always been important, whether it's in my job, in my extracurricular reading, whether it's in my schooling, whatever it is, just in my personal life, I love learning. And I think that lends into this video, which I want to make because I know there's been people following me since the beginning. And even at the beginning, you can see how I've evolved you know, I was younger, let's just say younger, but I'm not so young anymore, I'll say. I don't think people realize that I am approaching 40, so I'm not so young. But anyways, I was younger, did my first program at WGU, did another program at WGU while also thinking about doing doctoral studies, getting admitted into a specific program in Canada, rejecting that, thinking about other programs, and then going to South College kind of on a whim and then making it through a whole term, well, let's say 80% of the degree, and then deciding to take a break. But what I wanna say is I know there's been a lot of people who have followed me that whole journey or along that way, or if you've stumbled into my videos somewhere along the lines, I don't want you to take my experience and absorb any bit of that and let it affect your experience. I think sometimes we use YouTube and other people's experiences in our personal life to motivate us and to inspire us to make action happen in our life, whether that is to change a new habit or in this case kind of complete a very difficult milestone in one's learning journey, which is a doctoral degree. I think what I realized through this experience, which was very fascinating to me, is that the experience of doing something hard in life and proving that you're doing it can be motivating to others. However, once you pull back and retreat from that, even temporarily, that can really destabilize some people. And I've not necessarily seen that a lot on my channel, in my comments, but in my personal life. You know, when I told people that I was doing this doctoral degree, so when I told them I was doing it, but then maybe taking a break, a lot of people had a very difficult time accepting that. It was like, hello, you've put a lot of time into what you're doing. Why are you even contemplating the possibility of taking a break or even stopping something that has a big magnitude in your life? But I think what's most important is to go back to what's really important to the individual the individual self and what your reasons are for doing anything difficult. And I think this is where I'm trying to get at with my, this video is what motivates you to do schooling and keeping that at the forefront, whatever turbulence is going on around you and whatever difficult things are happening within your life, you need to go back to if you're doing a difficult task, like a doctoral degree, a master's degree, a difficult job, a new promotion, whatever you're doing that's difficult, thinking about, okay, why did I choose to do this in the first place? And if that reason feels compelling, then do what you can to organize your life, to build towards that goal, whether that's in baby steps, slowing down a process, speeding up a process, doing whatever you need to do, taking a break to do that goal. Now, for me, doing South College, my goal was always around taking my level of learning to the next level. That's purely what it was about. And being able to prove to myself that I could take part in competency-based education because it's very self-paced. Because I find the skill of self-direction vital and impressive in one's life. And so when I meet other people that have done online education, especially self-paced learning, I find it very admirable and I want to be that type of person. And so that was really my motivation. So once I proved to myself that I did that, I kind of relaxed a bit and was able to say, hey, there was this very important thing going on in my life that I needed to prioritize and I can take a break, call it a two-way door and return when I have the capacity. But for you, whenever there's a situation that's going on, it's kind of assessing, okay, is this goal worth continuing? Do I have the capacity to continue to work to this goal? If not, can I convert this into a two-way door? Meaning it's not a period 
never continue again. And even if you need to take a break, it's really thinking about what that break is going to do for you. Is it supposed to restore your energy? Is it supposed to restore your mind? Is it supposed to remind you of what really matters in your life? Whatever it's supposed to do, kind of make that the mantra of that experience or the main aim of that experience in your life. I think the reason why this video is being made is I, I'm, I feel like more affected by other people being affected by my life decision to take a break from something that was a lot of work and very meaningful to me at the time, but needing to really prioritize what mattered most. And I realized that there was a turbulence around me and I think people are uncomfortable with uncertainty, with someone being on a road, an admirable path, but needing to kind of step off. But I have met some amazing people through this channel, through my experience of being a doctoral student and working at a research institute and seeing other doctoral students overcome very remarkable challenges. So when it comes to my experience, what I like to do is kind of tiptoe a little bit into the waters again after I've taken a little break or trying to shift a mindset. And in this case, shift the mindset towards, you know, wanting to get back into the learning mode. I like to tiptoe a little bit. And so I've actually registered in some courses in the fall. Something you may have not known is that I was in a program. It was actually a bachelor's degree years ago. I already did a bachelor's degree in multiple graduate studies, but I was in a separate bachelor's degree purely for fun, as I was learning for the sake of learning, and I stopped that. And so I thought, well, what if I take a few courses in that? Whether I finish it or not, that's okay. I just want to tiptoe, get my feet wet again, learn a little bit. It's at an undergrad level, so hopefully I should do just fine. And then from there, hopefully you'll see me make my way back into doctoral studies at one point, whether it's at South College or somewhere else, but I would like to complete the doctoral degree at one point. And I think that comes back to my strong interest in doing research, which has shown in multiple videos. And I originally had a great idea for a doctoral dissertation. The idea shifted, it changed, I'm okay with that. But I still have a strong inclination like, hey, Justin, you would be a great candidate to do doctoral research because you know a lot about research, you know methodology, you know how to conduct different academic writing works in order to craft a really strong dissertation document. So I think that will come down the road, but I think I want to tiptoe a little bit in the fall. So that's my plan. Whether it's the most efficient plan to get this doctoral done, I don't know. It doesn't really matter because for me, it's all a process of learning over time, over a lifespan. And even if I get a doctoral degree, I don't think that'll be a period to the end of my learning journey. So anyways, if you stayed this far, thanks for watching. I always appreciate those who share their comments and share their experiences with me in the comment section. I love learning from you. And so thank you for sharing your experiences. Otherwise, I will see you in another video.